Uh, hello and welcome to my channel again. Uh, today we have Siat uh, Ibiza with the 1.2 TSI engine. And uh, uh, this is the vehicle. Uh, I'm going to show you that. Uh, uh, this is the Siat Ibiza FR. So <clears throat> the vehicle has come from another garage. So the customer complains that they uh, charging system was not working. So first, uh, they have replaced the battery, this one. The battery is replaced. And then <coughs> the charging system was not working. Uh, in spite of that, they changed the battery. Uh, then they have replaced the uh, alternator. As you can see, the brand new uh, alternator is installed. So if you can see, this is the alternator and it's brand new alternator. Let me show you if you can see from this angle here. So this is new alternator. New alternator is installed. And the <coughs> vehicle is still, uh, or the alternator is still not charging the battery. <coughs> so uh, we are going to investigate this together. So this is uh, with the 1.2 liter of petrol engine and the engine code is, I think, uh, it's CBZB. Uh, <clears throat> so first, uh, we are going to scan the vehicle. As with the ignition off, as you can see, uh, the digital voltmeter is connected to the battery and the battery is showing 11.96 volts, <clears throat> as you can see. And uh, this is a new day, start of new day, that's morning time, so the, the, everything is off. So <clears throat> now we are going to uh, scan the vehicle and see if we can get any fault code related to the charging system uh, from the scanner. Okay, before I go, to scan the engine, I'm going to mention uh, a few points here as well because that's going to be nice. If I turn the ignition on, I'm going to turn the ignition on. And uh, as you can see, let me, if I turn the ignition, the battery, the battery sign is not showing on the dashboard at all. So the battery sign is not showing. Whether uh, this is the <laughs> normal uh, function from the manufacturer or not sure. So I'm going to start the engine. Let me check that everything is clear, clear from the engine bay. So my uh, <coughs> voltmeter leads are clear from, from everything. So now I'm going to start the engine. <coughs> okay, I have started the engine as you can see. Uh, <coughs> battery sign is off, no malfunction indi indication light is illuminating on the dashboard. So battery malfunction indicator light is still off. And the engine is uh, idling at the normal idling uh, <coughs> condition. So, engine is idling, and uh, I still have 11.60, as you can see, the engine is idling. And I still have 11.6 volts. So, <coughs> and here, the battery malfunction indicator light is not showing up on the dashboard, or it's not indicating or illuminate, illuminating on the dashboard. So I'm going to rev the engine <clears throat> to 2000 rpm and then see uh, if the battery voltage raised. Okay, as you can see, I have raised the engine rpm to 2000 rpm and I'm going to show you that the uh, battery is still not being charged. So the battery is still not charging. I'm going to show you that it's the other one. As you can see, so 1170, 1171, and engine is running. As you can see, new alternator, and 1174. Engine RPM at 2000 revolution per minute, and no mal uh, battery or charging system, a malfunction indicator light illuminating on the dashboard. So now I'm going to uh, turn the engine off and scan the vehicle. So, engine off. <coughs> and with the engine off, ignition off, we, have, we still have 11.69 volts. Okay, now I'm going to scan the vehicle. So, okay, the scanner detected 
the vehicle ID. Okay, now I'm going to go to the this uh, number nine electronic central electric. So Okay, I'm going to read DTC. So this is the, the, the fault code we have. If you can see, this is the fault code. That's 01117. Load signal for alternator terminal DF. It means that digital field monitoring signal is no good. So this circuit, this circuit DF is directly connected to the main uh, EC or engine control unit. Uh, and uh, this one is above the all and we are going to ignore that. So our focus is on this one. So if I go back, <clears throat> so, uh, I'm going to turn the camera off because it's going to, I'm going to uh, sh uh, make the video shorter as, shorter as possible. So I'm going to go for read data stream. So by channel, it's going to be zero, nine, okay. Channel information, you can show off. Mm, no, it didn't help. So I'm going to uh, find here the relevant circuit and then I'm going to select that one. So here. I don't have anything that can help me about the DF circuit. So this is uh, all about the uh, terminal 50, which is working as about the starting, and this is also working, 1530 is also working. So, okay. Uh, now I'm going to uh, take the uh, digital field monitoring circuit data with the scanner. So then I'm going to slot the engine and see that what type of signal uh, uh, will we have. Okay, as you can see, I have back probe uh, the red wire and uh, it's uh, connected to the alternator uh, uh, and uh, also the pen number is uh, at the connector pen number two and the, red, the color is red and the other blue one, as you can see, this is uh, this wire is responsible for illuminating or uh, triggering the in malfunction indicator light for the charging system <coughs> on the dashboard. So I have back probed the uh, let me, if I can zoom in that. So you might be able to see that right now. Here. So as you can see, I have back probed the red wire. And the ignition is off. And uh, let me zoom that in. Out, sorry. Back to. And uh, this is the signal that we have. This is the signal uh, from the uh, digital uh, field monitoring circuit, this one, as you can see. So now <clears throat> I'm going to uh, start the engine, and uh, with the engine running, I'm going to show you that what type of signal we will have here. So let me show you that. This is the signal. Right now, ignition is off. Engine is off. Okay, I'm going to start the engine. I have started the engine. And as you can see, the uh, signal has gone to a uh, flat uh, battery voltage. So as you can see, the battery voltage is approximately, it's, uh, it has gone to 10.04. So I'm going to... So as you can see, it has gone to a flat line, battery or source voltage. As you can see, the engine is running. Mm, not sure if you can see because it's too dark here. So engine is running. And this has gone to flat line. So now I'm going to uh, turn the engine off. And with the ignition on, I'm going to show you so that what type of signal we will have here. So, engine off, ignition on back. As you can see, ignition is on. We still have flat line. Uh, so it's going to be uh, battery voltage or source voltage. So <clears throat> this is the uh, DFM uh, signal. So now I'm going to check the alternator output. So to make sure that uh, what's the alternator output. Uh, is there any output available at the alternator or not? Okay, engine is running. If you can see, uh, 
I'm going to zoom that in a little bit. So... Uh, I think I have zoomed that in too much. I'm going to do two. Okay, if you can see, I have connected the scope, the voltmeter lead to the alternator output or B plus pulse, as you can see. And here, on the <coughs> voltmeter, it is showing 14.2, 14.23. So, <coughs> it means that we have the alternator proper output at B, uh, B plus pulse, and the, the problem is along this wire along this wire which has come from the alternator and uh, this wire this and that goes to the uh, battery top fuse box so next i'm going to check that one so as you can see there so this is the, the blue lead is connected to the alternator output or uh, b plus post and uh, this is the reading voltage reading on the scope meter so <coughs> And I'm going to show you measurement of the battery too. So, okay, as you can see, this is reading, reading at the alternator B plus post. And uh, this is reading at the battery post, as you can see. So there are approximately three volts difference. The engine is running at alternator uh, B plus post output voltage reading or voltage value is 14.29 and at the battery 11.81 so uh, we are going to investigate the wire the black uh, I think it's a uh, 16 mm millimeter thick wire coming from the alternate alternator uh, B plus post to the battery once again this is uh, voltage wa value at alternator B plus post and this is voltage value at uh, battery post. As the engine is still running, I'm going to open this. Okay, uh, this is the uh, wire that uh, comes from the alternator and uh, this wire charges the battery. So, <coughs> and this wire is connected to this bracket by this fuse. So I'm going to check the uh, fuse that's in good order or in a service able order or the fuse is serviceable so if you can see it's 11.78 volts and now I'm going to so it's 11.782 so I thought uh, there will be uh, resistance resistance between this connector and here this bracket anyway I have cleaned this bracket too so I have removed that and clean underneath as well okay <coughs> If you watch here, you have 11.37. So the voltmeter is connected to the battery post. So positive to the positive post and uh, positive lead to the positive post and uh, negative lead to the negative post of the battery. As you can see, we have uh, 11.36. But if I connect, if you see, let me. If I connect, If I connect the uh, positive lead of the voltmeter to the battery positive post and uh, the negative or uh, COM lead to the engine body, look, you will see that the, the, the alternator is producing enough uh, energy to charge the battery. But the problem is here. Now I'm going to show you again that. Uh, so this is the battery post, as you can see. So as you can see, 1133. But if I move this this uh, black lead to the engine body, watch 14.2. So our problem is here. Our problem is at the hard point here. So <coughs> if I show you, oh my God. Look, when I measure at the battery post, so I have uh, 11.37 as you can see here. 
So if I move this lead, so if I move this lead to the engine body here, Okay, I have removed this arc point and I have cleaned that up. So now I'm going to start the engine and see if there is any difference in the voltage. I have a connected charger to the battery. Uh, so now the voltage reading is 12.0 and uh, I'm going to turn the charger off and I'm going to clean this arc po point as well. If you see here, I'm not sure if you can see. I'm going to clean this one and uh, this one this wire so that could be the problem so anyway let me start the engine i haven't cleaned up this art point engine to the chassis so i'm going to start the engine if the engine can be started okay engine has engine has started but uh, let me turn this off so engine is starting engine is running but uh, we still have 11.0 let me move this look at the corrosion here and also on top of the screw as you can see it's completely corroded so i'm going to totally clean this and connect this back okay look at the corrosion here so this is this one so i'm going to clean this up okay as you can see i have cleaned this up this one and this one and this one too so i'm going to fasten this then start the engine and see if they, if we have <coughs> 14, uh, if we have uh, above uh, 14 volts uh, uh, at the battery. Okay, as you can see, ignition is still off, and the battery charger is connected to the battery. So I'm going to start the engine. So I'm going to disconnect the battery charger from the battery. So I started the engine again. Oh, good, 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 good. Now I have rectified the coil resistance at the arc, so I have rectified the bad arc. And now, as you can see, at uh, 2000 RPM, uh, the battery voltage is 14.15. 